What is up, everybody? It's time for some Damia action. Hope you're ready to get some uh, nice little soul tie control up and running. We're going to play first. Let's see what we're up against. Uh oh. We've got the. Uh, man, I'm not even going to say her name. I'm just going to butcher it so bad. <laughs> okay, so as far as our opening hand goes, we have Windswept Heath, Creeping Tar Pit, uh, Sylvan Tutor. Got a little villainous wealth. Uh, I may go ahead and mulligan this one. It's. Just no card draw, no lands. Yeah, let's go ahead and mulligan this one. River of Tears, Opulent Palace. We still have Villainous Wealth and the Cidic Slime. Okay, yeah, we'll just go ahead and keep. I don't want to go past that. Ooh, yeah, we'll put that on top. Okay, let's get our command zone set. There we go. Okay. Hit my F keys, and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and hit the Opulent Palace going past the turn. But yes, we're playing Damia, Sage of Stone. So she has Death Touch. Skip your, she has Death Touch. Skip your draw step at the beginning of your upkeep. If you have fewer than seven cards in hand, draw cards equal to the difference. Uh, let's go ahead and get down Burgeoning Down. And get down River of Tears, and then we'll go and pass there. Hopefully, we can get into a little bit of card draw, some mana, some mana rocks over there. But yes, we're playing against. Uh... Man, Mariki Rebray. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, she doesn't untap during your untap step. Tap her, gain control of target creatures for as long as you control her. So yeah, man, a little old school Esper Commander action over there. But yeah, this is Damia, a little soul tie, kind of a little bit more of a spikier build right here. Damia, good stuff. Uh, got some counter spells. A little, little Damia super friends too, kind of getting in here. And we get into a gilded lotus and no lands. Yeah, we're going past the turn. Hopefully, if he goes for his commander, we can get down the go for the throat, kind of bounce him back a little bit. But yeah, we got some good stuff in here. We've got uh, we've got some planeswalker control and uh, whatever win conditions is villainous wealth, man. It's always fun to get in. You got to get into a lot of mana for that to be fun, but. Uh, yeah, we're not hitting our lands now. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have a little bit of card draw in here, too, so. That's how magic goes sometimes, man. And looks like, well, he's got that Vivid Meadow down, so he can get into his commander. Get into Bayou, there we go, we'll take that. Get the Bayou down, and... Yeah, nothing else we want to do. Go and pass the turn. Now, if we can get into like some Soul Ring action, Mana Crypt, and get down Gilded Lotus, and then we're going to be in business, and we can get into that extra mana. That's kind of the name of the game with Damia. You want to uh, you want to spend the early part of your turn depleting your hand, ramping, and then once you get into Damia, she's going to refuel, refuel your hand. So uh, that's kind of how it plays out. Crab Umbra. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for the throat in response to that. So we're going to go for, yeah, black right there. Get that blacked out and then, uh, or blocked out, stop that <laughs> crab umbra. <laughs> I just, I, <laughs> I've only seen the, <laughs> I got into a return to Ravnica and I, <laughs> and I've only like looked at the, like the, the green white umbras. <laughs> And I don't know, that guy just looks funny inside that, like, little <laughs> horseshoe crab. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like, what's his name from uh, Mortal Kombat? <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead, and uh, I don't really want him to get into that draw three card, so let's go ahead and bounce that back to his hand. like losing it over here guys I'm sorry okay Whew. all right let's get let's get this shit back on the road okay that man I just lost it with that crab umbra man I don't it's just like I said it and I looked at it and I've never seen it before and I think what's making me laugh is the the eyes on it and then just like the dude inside of it like like if that dude was coming in hot on the beach or something and, uh, <laughs> like, I don't think I would take him seriously. Like, he's got the little glowing hands. He's got a crab. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we're going to go for the Beast Within on that uh, Mr. Wizard draw three cards over there. Ancestral Wizard over there. Okay. Boom shakalaka. Get out of here, man. I'll take a Beast token. I'll stream Pulse. Okay. Man, we, uh, turn eight, and we've got three lands on this bad boy. I've got a lot of lands in here. Hopefully we'll get it, we'll get it to some. We've got a ton of ramp in here too. I don't know what's going on, man. Tried to record a uh, Mogus video earlier, and I just I got stuck on three lands just like this the whole time. So we shall see. Magister Sphinx. Okay, enters the battlefield. All right, total becomes ten. 
appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> we can we can get past this, hopefully. All right, we're getting to three. Now we're down to seven. All right. <laughs> On a three-turn clock now. Um, so we go. I'll stream pulse on the 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 flying dude. Okay, so we get that blown up. Uh, we got the beast token swinging in next turn. It's gonna knock us down to four. Yeah, it's gonna be tight, man. <laughs> I lose to a beast token. <laughs> that that's pretty nasty right there, man. Oh, yeah, you get the untap ability. Yeah, good game, man. Yeah, that's exact siege right there, man. Good game, buddy. <laughs> All right, if you enjoyed the video, I don't know if I'll post this, but if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.